In a right-angled triangle, the two sides which form the right angle are 16 centimeters and 12 centimeters respectively. So here is our right-angled triangle here. Now the longer side here is 16 centimeters and the shorter side is 12 centimeters. Four such triangles are arranged to form a big square as shown. So four such triangles are drawn to form a square like this. And we have to find the sides of the big square, right? The length of the big square. First, we label the figure A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H because originally the question did not label the figure. We want to label our figures so that it's easier to reference the shapes and the regions. Now, in, in the square A, B, C, D, a, B, C, D. In this square, we note that EF, so this is EF, is equals to FG, is equals to FG, is equals to HG, and this is HG, is equals to EH, and this is equals to 16 minus 12 centimeters. The reason is because, let us take an example, CF. We know that CF is 16 centimeters. It's the longer side. And CG here is actually the shorter side, you see, of this triangle. CG is 12 centimeters. So therefore, um, this FG is equals to 16 minus 12, which is 4. The area of the middle square, EFGH is equals to 4 times 4, which is equals to 16 squared centimeters. Now we turn our attention to the area of one triangle. The area of one triangle um, is given by the formula half base times height. So this is equals to half multiplied by 12 multiplied by 16, and this is equals to half times 192, which is equals to 96 squared centimeters. The area of four triangles would be 96 times 4, which is 384 squared centimeters. So the area of the square is equal to 384 plus 16, which is equal to 400 squared centimeters. Now, the length of one side of a square, ABCD, is equal to the square root of 400 and this is equals to 20. So the length of one side of a square is 20 centimeters.